So guys, you know, when we say let us return back to regional government, a lot of you people might not understand why we said that. Now look at what happened in, in Edo State. You could see the Senate president and all APC governors actually celebrating. You might think that they are, they are celebrating because they selected the best person to rule Edo State. No, they are actually celebrating because of their selfish interest, because they know that they have an interest ahead of 2027. That is why, even if it means the, putting the dumbest or probably the most incompetent person to lead the Edo State, they will do it. And this is what they did. This so-called APC governor that won, or uh, that was declared as, as the so-called so you know, uh, governor of Edo State, never attended any... I'm going to play some videos for you to listen to what people are saying. You know, this APC, so-called APC person that was declared, you know, never attended any single debate. He never even went for any TV interview. He never even spoke with the people. He was basically, it, it, it was Oshomole that was going about speaking on his behalf. Somebody that wants to govern millions of people in those states. And at the end of the day, APC decided to do, use all the federal might to make sure that they rigged him in as the governor. You can see them, you can see them celebrating. They don't care if this particular man will, you know, destroy Edo State. They don't care if this particular man will, you know, uh, uh, help, uh, in fact, bring down Edo State from wherever it is. This is why I said let us return back to regional government. So that these selfish politicians will not be vesting their own interests at the expense of people living in that particular region. This is the same thing they did in Imo State and took hopes of them in Imo State. So now the Imo indigents are suffering. They don't even know what hope is doing as the, as the so-called governor. Because the federal government wants to you know, implant Imo in the southeast or probably in that particular region. So that in 2027, they can win elections. It's all about winning elections and not all about the people. That's why I said, let us return back to regional government. So that these criminal politicians will be held accountable. It will no longer be about the interests of the federal government. Because this is what is actually happening in the country. And that's why having poor, 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 poor leadership and poor leaders in various regions. The government will just put in a puppet that is so incompetent just for them to win the election at the federal level in the next election year. It is quite pathetic. Now let me show, now let me show you something. I'm going to play with it for you to listen to what people are saying. But before then, you know, people have started blaming P2B for the loss of what uh, 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 of our APC won in Edo State. People said that P2B should have actually, you know, uh, told the Labour Party to join uh, join hands with PDP. You know, every single thing PDP people and APC people will find a way to put it on P2B's head. It is very pathetic. Let me tell you people something before I even play the video. Let me tell you people something. Even if APC likes, even if uh, P2B and Atiku Abubakar like, let them come together and combine. In fact, let me play the video first so I can listen to what this particular man said. Because from what he said is what I'm going to explain to you. What is actually wrong with our, our, our electoral system and our government and the election uh, processes in the country. Let me play the video first. I'm, I'm a, a Labour Party member and uh, I voted to my own party, which is Labour. But with my point of view of what happened yesterday, the election was successful. There was nothing like violence, there was nothing like fight, there was nothing like trouble. And uh, everybody voted in pigs, I live feed in pigs. Because what really made the election to go well was that because of the money that evolved, other political parties were sharing money, why other political parties were now having money to share. So as a result of that, that shows that the party goes well. Nothing like fight, nothing like quarry. So that is how we voted yesterday. Now, can we know the political parties? You said that you witnessed several political parties sharing money and the amount. Can you just tell us? Uh, the, several political, the political party that we are sharing money, PDP also share, but it's not up to the amount of APC. So as a result of that, because of the money, APC, uh, even PDP members and uh, Labour Party members and other political members follow money. They began to vote for money. They were voting for money, not for any other thing. They were voting for money because of the money that they were giving people in the field. They decided to follow APC and vote for APC. In my own poly booth, in my own poly booth, APC got 185. Then why PDP got eight? Why Labour get got uh, uh, theory? So for that, I say, well, anyway, we thank God because this is open election. Uh -huh. This is open ballot box. It's not a secret election. So we did this successfully and there was enough security and there is nothing like somebody that we say want to cough. Nobody cough and nobody make any noise. So for that, we thank God for the peaceful election that happened yesterday. Uh now, from the video you just watched, there is something that that particular guy said. He said he voted for Labour Party, but the election that the election was what successful, that it, it, it there was no violence. That the, the violence, the only problem they had was that APC and PDP we are buying and attriguing, or probably trying to find who will attrig or buy over uh, 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 the vote of some people in the 
pulling unit and co. Now, this is something that a lot of people should understand. You can blame the politicians, you can blame INEC, but the problem lies within the electorate sometimes, within the voters. Some of these people were not forced. Some of these people were not coerced to, you know, vote for APC. No, they willingly voted for APC because what? Well, they have no core value. They have no core, core principles because they were offered ten thousand naira and they went ahead in voting APC. You could hear what that particular man said in that video. That the election went peacefully. That people were only collecting money. That people were only collecting money. That people were basically and only collecting money. To, to 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 vote for APC that even some Labour Party people that came to vote for Labour Party saw the money that we offered by APC and decided as a matter of fact to vote for APC. You can see that the problem is not just all about the politicians. The problem is equally equally lies within the people. Some of these people are quite selfish and they have no principle. Offer them peanuts and they will set their conscience. That's why when, when I hear some people saying P 2 B should you know join powers with Atiku Abaka, I keep on laughing. Even if they like, let them join power till now to 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 to, to next year. If the basic reforms are not being done, and if the Nigerian people are not yet ready to take over their country, believe me, this rascality will continue. Believe me, this rascality will continue. If the INEC does not find a, a way to you know uh, revolutionize and you know restructure the INEC, Balami Tinibu and APC will win twenty seven presidential election. If if, if it will be like let let him combine with Atiku Abaka, and if the people are not willing to take back their country, believe me that this. Evil political party APC will continue to rule in 2027. You see that APC will come out with a lot of agendas and people will buy it. They will tell you this person in 2027, APC will come out with a lot of agenda and propaganda. They will tell you this person is an evil man, this person is a Christian, this person is a that, and they use these religious and ethnic sentiments as a matter of fact, you know, to deceive the gullible voters. And you see that same day, they will collect money and because of these sentiments and still voting for APC for, for, for APC to suffer Nigerians again for another four years. Let me show you what some PDP personnel started saying, you know, after they lost the Edo election. And some of them started saying that P2B should, should, as a matter of urgency, you know, find a way to make with Atuka Abaka to ensure that they remove Bala Mentenebu from that particular presidential position. You know, most of them are more interested in winning elections. Why P2B have told them countless number of times that he is not all about winning elections? And he is not all about winning elections. That he is more about what is being offered to the people. How will, will our major or probably combination help the people? It's not all about hijacking power. You might hijack power at the end of the day. What are you going to do with the power you, you, you've hijacked? This is the same thing APC did in 2015. Hijacking power from good luck and eight years going and uh, more than nine years now, APC did not do anything with the power they hijacked because they were not prepared. They were only prepared to just win elections. Now look at what some people are saying that, uh, that P2B should do. Some PDP personnel started, you know, posting some pictures. You can see this on the screen. This person said PDP looked unbeatable in 2015. Said there was a merger. A word is enough for the wise. They are saying that P2B should merge with Atuka back. And you know, they, oh, they always project this idea that P2B should deputize Atuka back. And a lot of people are asking them, what gives you the audacity or probably the effort to say that P2B should deputize Atuka back? Why won't Atuka back step down and support him since he has been a deputy? And Atuka back has been contesting for the seat of the president for over how many years, even before P2B came into the picture, and he has been failing. So what is the Essence of saying P2P to support him. Why do you think he's more prominent or probably much more important than P2B? Meanwhile, this particular man has been contesting and he has not been winning. So that means there is a problem that is wrong with some with with him or probably somewhere. This is why some people this is what some people are saying that P2B should not deputize Atuk Abaka. Rather, Atuk Abaka should step down and ensure that he supports Mr. P2B. Because see some some of the comments of some people. This person said some this person said something said if P2B becoming a VP to Atuk will be the way out of out to beating APC in 2007, it's better than both of them being on the ballot separately. APC has benefited from has benefited more from P2B and PDP separation. It's time all parties come together and work out a structure. People are telling P2B and Atiku Abaka to come back together. Now P2B said, fine, that is open for any major or political major or problem political coalition, but only for the fact that they, they are, their intent and intentions must be stipulated and it must be people oriented and it must not all be all about hijacking power or probably displacing people. That he must actually see what the major will actually bring for the people. I can boldly and treat for free. So this is what some people are saying. Why some people said the article and P to be as leaders and champions of our nation's future. It is crucial that we consider forming a strategic major and alliance. The stakes are high and the challenges ahead demand unity and collaboration. A lot of them are calling because what happened in, in the industry that you know has actually cleared and opened the people uh, their eyes because it is no longer all about elections. APC have strategized and masterminded how they are going to be winning elections in the country. So people are not scared because we cannot continue like this. People are calling that this person should, they should find a common ground. Either P to be will be the president, will be the president, and probably Atika Baka will step down and support him. 
or the other way around. So people are still having issues. Okay, look at some people. Some people are saying, no, this person said, Atuku is not too big to step down for Obi. Suggesting that Obi plays second fiddle to Atuku is not just disrespectful. It is. It also reinforces the unjust and devious idea that someone from South East must never be president. So this person said that it is a, dub a dubious idea that people, every time they are telling P2P to come and deputize Atuku, why wouldn't Atuku step down and support Mr. P2B?